so these are the the shaders some of the shaders that i've used some come in white some come in black they have these wonderful little patterns on there and there's three packs so it's very 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 exciting these are the ones that i've used and in order to do that i'll show you this in an empty scene in a minute but the way just to finish this this thing off how i've built the scene in order to apply a shader you can use your surface selection tool. There's a couple of ways to do this, but I'm using the surface selection tool here. I've got it on the toolbar. If you don't have it, it's under tools, surface selection. And then you can go and hover over objects. Uh, they're not actually selecting the object, which is what the universal manipulator would do. If we remind ourselves that's this little guy here, if I select something with that, then it goes to this object here, like trophy or, you know, the locker or this thing. So that selects the whole object, but one object can have multiple material zones on there. And so the surface selection tool then goes and looks at the object, but also picks that particular surface. So in case of the dress, for example, we have three material zones here. So when I hover over different parts of the dress, I can see that different surfaces light up. And this is the surface that I can select. The Genesis character has that as well. Um, same thing, pretty much every object has at least one material zone. You can select them differently as well. If you uh, already know you've got uh, an object selected, like uh, for example, my dress so abby dress if i select that let's say i had my universal manipulator i've got the dress selected i can also go over to the surfaces tab and then on here i can see that these are the surfaces the three surfaces that the surface selection tool would have selected but it's more of a visual selection process this is something if you're getting into shaders and into how to set up materials, that is what you need to get familiar with. That is, if it's not docked, if you don't have it anywhere, head over to Window Paints, and then it's the Surfaces tab here. So yes, this is how we select the particular surface. So one surface needs to be selected for a shader to be applied to that surface. And no matter which way you do it, once you've done it, find the shader you'd like to apply. Again, there's a couple of ways to do this. In principle, either you go onto your Smart Content tab or you find it in the Content Library. On Smart Content, we can have a look uh, at shaders here and then we can see the shader products in my case or the files if you've got that going. And then if I go and double click into a shader product, any of these can now be applied to the surface that I've selected. So let's say this one here, double click it and then we go on and we've replaced that part on the dress and if we don't like it we can go and replace it with something else or oh, that looks quite nice actually or that or that a magnitude of possibilities to apply a shader there if i wanted to have a dress that is more like uh, white rather than black i can just pick one of these things maybe pick the sleeves here go grab this here i think that's got the kind of the, the dice on there or maybe the hearts and then perhaps the belt that can stay black but perhaps we're going to make it a different one not the hearts we'll make it like this or like that or whatever now notice that the pattern that's currently on the dress that might not look as amazing as you think it should so i'm thinking perhaps this wavy pattern here on her top that is nice but i'd like it to be a little bit smaller and you can do that as well you select the surface this particular shader product has this kind of built in. These are these tiles here. You can tile the texture that is used to make that effect. That's a loopable, tileable texture, and you can determine how large it should be applied to the shader. We'll look at that on the surfaces tab in a moment, because you can do that with every shader. It's just that this shader is nice enough that it gives you user-facing controls that do not involve going to the surfaces tab, which is why I thought it's such a good um, project to showcase. So you double click this and then you see this is now much, much larger. If you go for with one on one, if you go 10 to 10, it goes and it's much, much smaller. But we have everything in between. So six by six, that might look better. Five by five, four by four. So it looks to me as if the texture that comes with it, if it's one by one, this is the original kind of size of the texture, but depending on the size of your UVs or the size of the object, this might not look good. So you get to click these things. Not every shader has that, but every shader can be dealt with like this on the surfaces tab. So we'll go through that in a moment. So once again, with the surface selected, you also have uh, this thing at the bottom here. So on the surfaces tab over here, I'm currently in the editor tab, but there's also a presets tab. And if you head over there, there's a shaders list here. And this is essentially like a categorization of shaders installed on your system. Those are both 
eye ray as well as 3D light shaders. So what we're talking about is largely eye ray. Uh, 3D light kind of works the same way, but I'll, I'll go into that in a moment. Uh, they are they are two different languages for two different render engines. So let's stick with eye ray for now. So under iRay ray then we have a whole other list here of things that are that come pre-installed with Das Studio. They are part of the default resources. So if you don't have those installed and you don't see any shaders, then install those via Install Manager, preferably, or Das Central, preferably Install Manager. And in those you'll find things like you know car asphalt and stuff like that. So you can it's essentially like a whole list of things that's in here. You might see more, you might see less. You can pick anything you like. Like in marble, noise, metal. This might be kind of nice in noise. I could have the, the pearl and noise on her dress. But yeah, this is also how I can pick a shader. So see if we find anything like fabric here. This is, this is quite nice. Uh, fabric. This is another mosaic here. I think this is from 3D Universe. Black circles. If I double click that, this is now going to be applied to the surface that I have selected. Yeah, so this is also, this is another part of where to find the shaders, either in your content library or on the shader presets tab here in the surfaces property. 